Back at it again with another DIY. Today we're gonna to be replacing the spark plugs on my F30-340i. Now some of the part numbers and torque specs are gonna be specific to the B58 engine, although the overall process of changing the plugs is gonna be similar on pretty much any inline six BMW. Before you get started, you just wanna make sure you have all the tools you need for this. Of course, we have a torque wrench, a 10 millimeter socket. We have a Keys Motorsport spark plug tool. This is a 14 millimeter 12 point on a ball head. We have an E18 Torx, an E8, and a gauge to check the gap on the spark plugs. Before starting any engine work, it's best practice to disconnect the battery. In order to get to the plugs, there's just a couple things in the way here. I'm going to be removing my strut tower brace, the acoustic engine cover, as well as some bracing towards the rear. Pull straight up on each corner of the cover to remove it. It's just held on with rubber grommets. So taking a look at the top of the engine here, you can see we have some really good access to the first five plugs, but the six is tucked under some foam and some other plastic pieces, so I've seen some other DIYs where people have gotten away with doing it without taking that stuff off, but just to make it easier for myself and for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic trim that's in the way. These covers have 10mm fasteners on the top, mine were all broken off for some reason so they just lifted off. Remove these circular covers to gain access to the E18 bolts underneath. These E18s were pretty tight, so you may need some extra leverage. Lift this brace out and set it aside. Some F30s will have two separate pieces, but mine was just one piece that went all the way across. Carefully pull this wire out of the rubber insulation and pull the insulation out. At this point, this plastic piece here is all that's in the way, so we just need to remove a couple 10 millimeters and we'll get that out of there. There was an extra 10 millimeter on the driver's side that I missed, as well as a plastic fastener. Carefully pull up on this foam insulation so it doesn't rip on its way out. With a little extra work, we now have access to all six ignition coils. So for the spark plugs, I'm going to be running the NGK94201, which is an OE plug for the B58 engine, and these are pre-gapped to BMW specifications, meaning that you can just install them right out of the box. Now there's a lot of discussion online as to whether you should re-gap them or when to re-gap them. And uh, in my experience, um, if your car is stock, just leave the stock gap, obviously. If your car is like mine where it's stock and maybe you've got like a basic stage one tune, like I've got the stage one um, boot mode tune on my car, the stock gap is fine also. Um, that's basically what I've been running since I bought this car two years ago and I've never had any issues um, with misfires or rough idle or anything like that. And the spark plugs are stock and again, just a stage one tune. Now, if you got like a big turbo or you're running ethanol or some other mods, I would say consult with your tuner and see what they recommend as far as the gap. But um, for most people watching this, the stock gap is going to be just fine. To release the harness on the ignition coil, you need to lift up on the center tab while simultaneously pulling out on the gray tab. Then push down on the gray tab to pull it out. Now use your E8 socket to remove the coil. Note that the bolt is part of the ignition coil so it won't come all the way out. Wow. 
Wiggle the ignition coil out by pulling straight up. It makes a satisfying pop sound. Now you can remove the spark plug using your handy dandy Keys Motorsport spark plug tool. Whether you get the Keys tool or a different brand, it needs to be a 12 point. A regular 14 millimeter socket won't work. Also, the threads on these are super long. This key socket is magnetic, which is helpful for installing the new plugs. When installing the new plugs, do not apply any kind of grease or lubrication on the threads. Carefully hand thread the plug to avoid cross threading. Then grab your torque wrench and torque it to 23 newton meters. Reinstall the ignition coil. The torque spec for the E8 is 8 newton meters. I didn't have a torque wrench that went that low, so I carefully snugged them up by hand. Plug the harness back in and click the tab to secure it. Alright, I think you guys get the idea here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up those last three off camera just so we can get this done with. I'm going to start up the car, make sure that everything's running correctly, and then if it is, we'll just reassemble all that crap that we took off earlier. Torque the bolts on the brace to 56 newton meters. All right, well that actually wasn't too bad at all if you're trying to gauge like whether or not you wanna try this at home. I'd say it's like one notch above an oil change in terms of difficulty, so you can think about it like that. Um, I was just texting Brian. I think it took me more time to get all of that stuff out of the way than it did to actually change the plugs. It really wasn't too hard. Um, I'm gonna link all of the tools and parts down in the description below. Huge thank you to Keys Motorsports for sponsoring all the parts and stuff for the video. Now, as far as the ignition coils, um, I just reuse the stock ones. They don't necessarily have like a set interval that you're supposed to change them at. Like the spark plugs do, it's sort of like replace them as needed. Although I'd say if your car is higher mileage and you still have the original coils, it's a good idea to just change them um, just to just as like preventative maintenance and since you have to take them out to get to the plugs anyway it just makes sense to do it all at once um, in my case the ignition coils I was looking for are on back order and because my car only has 50,000 miles I really didn't see a point in changing them right now so that's why I reused my stock ones but uh, just something to think about if you're like 70,000 miles or higher I would just plan on replacing them but that's it guys give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.